friends welcome to engineers gram in this video we are going to see how to connect ttl with your system and uh, transfer data from your system to a board like uh, atmega 8 or atmega 16 development board so let's start the first part is like uh, we need to connect our ttl this particular device ttl okay uh, this particular ttl to our system okay this is your ttl you can see in the screen okay so you can get it from uh, amazon or ebay like that and it cost around 100 to 150 rupees okay uh, it is uh, like you can see over there like as a return it is used to convert usb to TTL. TTL stands for transistor transistor logic. Okay, why we use it? Actually, TTL is used to convert USART your particular USB data into a USART data. Okay, like uh, your USB protocol into RS232 protocol. So that's why we're using this particular device. This particular IC is your PL2303 the IC name which is used to convert your USB data into USART data okay on this USART side you get actually 5 pins one is TX RX ground 3.3 volt and 5 volt we are going to connect 5 volt with VCC then your uh, ground to ground this particular pin then rx to tx and tx to rx of your development board whatever the development board you are, you are using you can use arduino you can use atmega 8 development board atmega 16 32 that's on you uh, any of the development development board you can use okay the processor is B going to same so let's start now with the first part how to connect your particular this TTL to your system so first of all you need to plug in this particular uh, TTL into your system okay and uh, now check for the drivers okay drivers are installed on node in your system okay for that uh, if you're using windows 8.1 or 10 just press window plus x and uh, click on device manager okay you need to uh, open device manager okay and uh, in device manager you need to go to ports and check for this prolific usb to serial home port if it is not coming that means in your system software is not installed the driver for this particular guy is not installed and you need to install the driver okay for that just right click on it and uh, click on update driver okay and uh, click on browse let me pick okay and you can click on this if it is available if it is not available in your system then uh, uh, I'm giving you a link in the description uh, go to that link and uh, download the software and uh, there is a software called PL2303 this is uh, this is the driver okay PL2303 driver okay so you need to install this driver okay after that it will come and still if you're having any problem please do comment okay I will help you I will sort out the issue what is the issue you are having okay so let's uh, go to the next thing okay so we have connected now okay and after this connection we need to install a uh, other software that is your XCTU this is a serial communication software it can uh, transmit data through your USB ports okay so for that we need to install XCTU just uh, that is also available in this uh, software folder okay and uh, you need to install it and if 
uh, your project driver is installed then you will be able to see this particular com port over here and it is showing you com 37 now you can go to terminal now you need to connect tx of your particular ttl to the rx of the same okay like this this tx to rx you need to connect okay so now if it is connected now you need to go to terminal and uh, see if these three line status are green if, if this line status is green that means your ttl is working if any of these line status is black that means your ttl is having some issues okay so please check that down okay and uh, now if i'll press like a single button i am pressing a so i am pressing a single time and it is getting a again yeah you can see that like this is my transmitted data and this is my received data okay so you can uh, send a packet also like i can send my name okay and send data so like i send my name once but it is appearing again like i am sending anurag and it is again coming yeah so like this you can uh, connect your ttl to your system and you can transmit data from uh, your system to your microcontroller okay this part is this thing is called your pc2 microcontroller communication okay and uh, hope you enjoyed the video please do comment guys if you're having any issues okay and uh, i will wait for your suggestions and please uh, if you liked the video please click on like button and uh, please share with your friend and uh, i also need your help so please click on subscribe button okay thank you thank you guys